Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how to simulate a CPW feed antenna using CST Microwave Studio 2022. To begin the simulation, let us click on this project template. And here you select microwaves and RF optical. Click on antennas and then click next. After that, you select here planar and then click next. Let the solver be time domain. After confirming that you just click on next no need to change here the unit types and simply you click on next after that you can mention here the frequency minimum as 2.2 gigahertz and frequency maximum as 2.6 gigahertz and monitors we can select here e field h field far field and the center frequency we can write at the defined uh, at location as 2.4 gigahertz then click next and finish now let us click on this view and uncheck this bounding box after that we go to this view perspective and select friend now let us first create the substrate to do that click on modeling click on this brick okay press escape button and here you can just type it as substrate and you can give x min value as minus w g by 2 and x max as w g by 2 in y min position you can give 0 and in y max position you can give lg then z min you can give 0 z max as H. Let the component be component 1 and the material you can select here from the library. Here you can just type FR4. You can see here select FR4 loss C and make sure the epsilon value is 4.3 and new value is 1 then click load. Now click on OK so it will ask for the value of WG. So you enter 50.2 millimeters. Similarly for LG, you can enter 55.2 millimeters. Click OK. And then for H value, you can give 1.6 millimeters. After that, you press OK. You can see here a substrate is created on the working window. Now let us create a copper layer on the substrate. To do that, click on this brick and you just type this as layer 1 give x min value as minus wg by 2 and x max value as wg by 2 similarly y min is 0 and y max is lg for z min you can give h and z max is h plus t then leave the component as component 1. Here the material we can load from the library and here you can just type copper. Select copper annealed and then click load. After that you just click on OK. Here it will ask the value of T which is the thickness of the copper. It is going to be 0 0.035 millimeters. Then click OK. You can see here a copper layer is created on top of the substrate. Now let us create a patch 1 by clicking on brick. Here you can give the name as patch 1. The values of x min as minus w p1 by 2 and x max as w p1 by 2. The y min value you can give it as LF1 and y max as LF1 plus LP1 and here let it be copper annealed then click OK. Now it will ask for WP1 value you just enter 40 here and then click OK. Similarly. LF1 you can enter it as 6.5 
click OK. Then it will ask for LP1 which is equal to 47.7 and then click OK. You can see here a rectangular patch is created. Similarly, we can create a feed 1. So for that, click on a brick and then you give the name as feed 1. Then here, x min value we can give it as minus wf1 by 2 and x max as wf1 by 2. y min value we can give it as 0 and y max as lf1. Z min value we can give h and Z max as h plus t. Leave this as component 1 and the copper itself, then click OK. Here it will ask for the value of WF1, you enter 5 and then click OK. You can see here a small feed is created. Now let us do some Boolean operations in order to create the ground plane of the CPW patch antenna. So to do that, first let us select here the components. Under that, you can select here patch 1 and you just go to boolean and click on add and select the feed 1. Then you press enter. You can see now this entire structure has become united. Next, you select here the layer 1 and then click on boolean and go to subtract and select the patch then after that you just click enter you can see here now the cpw ground is created next we will create the radiating element so to do that click on this brick and you just label this as patch and then you can give x min value as minus w p by 2 and here w p by 2. Similarly, the y value you can give it as l f and y max as l f plus l p. Z min value you can give it as h and z max is h plus t. Then leave this as component 1 and material let it be copper and then click OK. Now it will ask you for entering the value of WP. So you enter here 38. Click OK. LF value you can enter it as 7.5 and then click OK. Similarly, LP value will be 45.7. You can enter and then you can click OK. You can see here a radiating patch is created. Now we have to create a feed for this. To create the feed line, let us click on this brick and you give the name as feed. Enter the value of x min as minus w f by 2 and x max as w f by 2. Then y min value you leave it as 0 and y max value you take it as l f. Z min is H and Z max is H plus T. After that, leave this component 1 and material as copper and then click OK. Here, WF value, you enter it as 2.6 and then click OK. You can see here, a feed line is created at the bottom of the patch. Now, let us create the waveguide port for the CPW feed. So to do that, let us first rotate this antenna and then let us zoom this feed position. After that, you just go to uh, simulation. You can just click on picks and here you select pick face. Here, you just double click on this central face and after that, you just click on a waveguide port. So here, you can give the value as 20 and similarly here 20 and here you can give it as 10 and 10. After that, you have to give the multi-pin 
port assignment. So check this one and define fields. Here you just click on add and select here the potential as positive and location is picked here. So you just click on OK. Now you just select somewhere here on the ground and then double click. Now you can see a pin is picked. Next, similarly you just add another pin. Here it should be a negative pin. So select negative and then click on OK. So here you just come to this feed position, double click. After that, you select one more uh, pin by clicking add here and then select the positive pin, click OK. And here you just choose this ground plane again, double click. And after that you can see here two positive pins and one negative pin is added, click close. Here you just click on OK. Now let us unzoom and you can see here the CPW feed is assigned with a waveguide port with three pins. Now the design is ready for simulation. Click on home and press start simulation. That's all in this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share to your friends. Thank you.